Good afternoon to everyone. Welcome to my channel, Jewelry by Monique. Hoping everyone's having a wonderful day today. I wanted to um, do a video, um, kind of a vintage sale, and I wanted some really good lower prices on some of my pieces. But I have what I'm going to call a showcase spotlight, and I've done these before. These are pieces that are um, much more... Um, what would you call it, fancier, um, more expensive than the other pieces. So um, I'm going to offer these to you today. The um, pieces that I have are just beautiful, as you can see. I um, wanted to let everyone know that I do have a few more subscribers, and I'm just very, very pleased about it. We'll have another giveaway at 700. Um, we... Um, you know, welcome all new subscribers. I'm hoping that um, everyone reads my descriptions under the um, video itself. Kind of tells you things um, when I change anything or sometimes I'll put $5 off in the description. Um, anybody that purchases over like $30 gets free shipping. Things like that will go in the description. If you don't read the description, you won't get it if you don't tell me that you actually saw it in the description. So we're going to start doing that again also. If you'd like to purchase anything from me, all you have to do is email me at moniquesjewels2 at gmail.com. Um, make sure you check the sold list on any of my videos. Um, most of everything that's sold does, you know, get paid for and is packaged and shipped off. So the sold list usually stays like it is. Um, that way we don't have um, problems if you want to purchase and um, you're trying to purchase something that someone has already bought. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I think the first piece is the most obvious. It is a Lily Pulitzer. I have looked her up again when I first got her um, the actual price tag is $88. Her pieces still go, even on eBay, for anywhere between $25 and, you know, $70. There are some pieces that go for over $100. Here's her tag. This is a summertime, just a fun piece. Her pieces are just beautiful. They're in excellent shape. This one has probably never been worn. And there's her hang tag. Isn't that pretty? This is the actual hang tag, the actual price tag here. And the $88. This one is, let's see if it's got a name on it. No, it just says Lily Pulitzer. Um, this is gold tone, of course, and then she has this beautiful kind of a crocheted around the gold tone chain and these beautiful, almost neon colors with the light blue as kind of the focal point of the necklace. This thing is really cool. Um, it is at its point right now without the extender. It is right at, where'd it go? 16 inches, so this could be longer. Um, the chain here is interesting because it has a little, little scallop design on it. Um, it feels good. It's like soft. It almost feels coated to where it won't scratch your neck. It's just in great condition. Um, the one I saw that was very similar, I saw one exactly like it, but it didn't have a price on it. So the one I saw... Um, that was very similar was like 69 now even these white these are more of a, um, a rope feel to them they are not dirty or anything they're just in great shape um, the price on that one was I I'm pretty sure it was $69 and um, there were some more that were there was actually one that only had one little ball like this on it with a gold chain and it was 25 <laughs> but I think what I'm gonna do on this one 
as a kind of like a special promotion for my for my videos and for my channel. I'm going to do 35 on this one. Um, if you're a reseller, you can definitely make money off of it. Um, I just think it's gorgeous. It's cute. It's gorgeous. It's uh, well made. Uh, it's whimsical. It's just really cute. Okay, so we're going to do 35 on that. Next, I'm going to showcase the Eisenberg pair here. These have the Eisenberg crystal stones or Eisenberg stones, which is called Eisenberg ice. I think that this tag actually says Eisenberg ice on it. The actual mark on this piece. Yes, it does. It says Eisenberg ice on the side right in that area there. It is in excellent shape. None of the crystals are discolored. And so we're going to put 20 on the pair. And it is right at an inch and a half. And it's a beauty. It's probably the prettiest brooch I've ever had. So it's very, very nice. Um, I'm sure you can look her up. Um, this is one of the first pieces I ever bought that started me on my journey with um, reselling jewelry. Um, I had gone to a, um, just kind of like a trade show with my brother, and we came back home, but we stopped about 50 miles from where I live at an antique mall or antique shop. And I saw this, and I'm like, this is, you know, this is me. I love this stuff. So I bought it, and it's a Skitterelli. And it is, these are the earrings. You can look this maker up also, of course. This, to me, looks like a little windmill. She has sets that go for uh, over $100. Most of these are in the actual original case, which I don't have. Um... I actually bought the necklace and found the earrings in the same shop in someone else's little area. And this piece is so sweet. Her name is on the back in a, in a circle right there. And these are also marked on the, oops, on the screw back. I thought these were cute because they almost look like little bees or something. But they match this area here. Matches the area around this. It's like an exact match. So I do believe they should be together. The rhinestones are in fabulous shape. I'm sure this is probably from the 50s. Um, I think she went on to make pieces for other companies. If I remember the story. But the blue stones are gorgeous. And I'm sure they're just glass. But little glass rhinestones. But they are in fabulous shape. So I'm going to put 35 on this set. Okay. I'll set that over to the side. All of these have been put up in boxes and bags. Um, so they won't get, you know, messed up with other jewelry. Okay, so now we're going to start into the um, actual sale. I believe most of these pieces are vintage from what I can tell. Of course, they don't have... A lot of these pieces don't have maker's marks. Some of them do. Um, I've got a little statement piece here. It's just um, nice little plastic beads in the green, um, forest green color with a bronzy gold tone up through here. It's just a beautiful little statement piece. Very comfortable to wear. No need. Um, very popular at one time. This is approximately, let's see, right at 14 inches. So this would be up closer around your neck like a little bib. And I'll put $3 on that. way. Um, this one is just really, really cute. This is 
a New York and Company piece. It is, this one is asymmetrical. It is really pretty. Here's the New York tag there, backwards. There. And I just thought it was very pretty. It's an excellent shape. The silver tone is perfect. It's got different sizes of chains. You've got the mother of pearl at the bottom. You've got a chain. And then you've got kind of a plastic lilac colored bead here. Acrylic, plastic, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, this needs to be hung so it doesn't have to be twisted every day. It's been in a big group of jewelry for a long time. So asymmetrical as in, let's get it right here. Twist it back around one time. Okay, okay. There we go. So it would lay on your neck just like this with this beautiful flower with the rhinestone. It is a longer piece. It is approximately 20 inches. So this will not be up high around your neck or anything. As a matter of fact, let's do this. I think it's pretty enough to kind of show it off. Um, there we go. So that's what it'll look like. Once on your neck. Twist it around there. So I think on this one we will put... Oh, and that's the back with the flower. It looks very nice. Um, I think that we should put on this New York, let's put $5 on this one. It's very, very nice. Okay. Next, we have a little pendant. I, I love these. When I was a little girl, I just loved this little kind of, I don't know, resin design. I just thought it was just beautiful. You know how we are as children. Then the blue rhinestone in the center is pretty. It's in great shape. Isn't that pretty? Um, I'll put $2 on this one. And the petals are so cool. And it is right at about an inch and a half. Too cute. Okay, next. I have this little choker, very, very lightweight, almost in a red garnet um, bead. I don't think these are stones, but they're not, they're kind of cool as um, this is, let's see if I can, oh, no way, hold on, what is this, is that 1928, what? Hmm. Yes, it is. This is a 1928, guys. Um, it's got a dark gunmetal uh, with an extender and these pretty little beads. And then it comes down to this dainty little piece. It is approximately, without an extender, right at 14, almost 15, and the extender's long. So it could be up to 16, 18 inches if you wanted it to be. And I just think it's cute. So let's put four on this one. Okay, 1928. All right, this one's interesting. I've had this for a while. Um, I actually had this and something went with it. I think it was earrings. The earrings were just the cross itself. This has rhinestones in the crosses. This is a fabulous design. There is a mark on, I think it's GC, or CG. A, kind of a cursive C and a G. And I found some pieces by them, but never who they were or what the company name was. So here's the back. Here's the front. It's lighter white. It's an excellent piece for a plain, um, say a black dress or gray top. Um, it's just really, really neat. So without the extender, 
we are right at 15 inches with the extender. I think we could go all the way to a little over 16 inches. So let's put four on this one. Okay. Next we have, oh, this is cute. This looks like an Avon. It has a spring ring. It's pretty. It's got all the stones there, pink and blue. I do believe, let me check. No, nope, it's got a stone missing. Okay, if anybody likes harvesting. Wow, I can't believe that. If anybody likes harvesting, this would be a dollar. We'll just do that as a craft. I'll put it over there. Yeah, sometimes that happens. This is a Chico's piece, and I love this piece. It's Chico's. Love it. This is very oriental. This is beautiful. This is leather, I do believe. It feels great. Leather cord, super long. Let's see how long it is. It's about 36 inches. We've got the Chico's tag right there. It is beautiful. This would go with some very nice outfits. So let's do, on the Chico's, let's do four on that one. This one is a costume piece, uh, probably an older style. This is not marked, it has a nice spring ring. This is like a little Singapore herringbone. And it comes down. Oh, there we go. That's out of there. Comes down to this little cross with the dove. Isn't that pretty? And it's in excellent shape. I don't see a mark on it. It is a beauty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's in great shape. And this is right at almost 15 inches. So we'll put $3 on that one. I'll put it back in this little bag. Yeah, this is like gold tone like it was made yesterday. It's just beautiful. Okay, next. Oh, we have this beautiful little heart. So we have a heart here that's glass. This is gorgeous. It's almost like a dichroic glass heart. You've got the faceting and the um, glass is, yeah, this is a beautiful piece. Look at that. It is on another little Singapore. There is nothing written on it. Spring ring clasp. Beautiful gold tone. This one is actually 16 inches. Show it to you here. This is beautiful. So I will put that green. It's such a pretty green. Look at that green. Isn't that pretty? Up against your skin. Let's put six on this one. This one's gorgeous. Okay. Some of these I don't know if I've even showed before. I don't remember. Um... A lot of these pieces I got back. Oh, I got my things from Florida. Oh, this is pretty. And this looks like a Avon piece. Let me check it. Is it marked? Nope, I don't see a mark on it. This is pretty. This is actually a choker. It is right at 12 inches with the extender. Without the extender, it's about 10 and a quarter. So this very well could be an anklet, guys. But it is very pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an anklet. It's 10 and a quarter. So let's put um, $3 on that. It's pretty. And next we have... Oh, another little... Um, little herringbone, kind of in great shape. Um, very pretty. Spring ring clasp, it is. Uh, these amaze me, the way they look so new. This is right at seven and a quarter. 
We'll put three dollars on that one. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that looks like sterling, but it's not. It's very, very pretty. Now we have a necklace here that is in also in fabulous shape. This is a herringbone. I'm checking it to see if it's okay. Yes, it is. It's in great shape also. Let's see if there's a mark. I don't see one. It has a spring ring clasp. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at the shine. I don't know if you can see the shine on it. It's in excellent shape. There you go. This is almost a gunmetal. This is really pretty. This is right at 23 inches. So this would be perfect for a pendant. It kind of morphs into that gray, doesn't it? So let's put four on this one. It's very nice. So we can keep going. We're only at 21 minutes. This one's very pretty. This is an older style. This is a three strand and there is a mark. It is. Well, if I can read it, it is. Yep, I can't read it. It is. Oh, this is Graziano. I forgot. I forgot. This is Graziano. Right there. And I think it's on... Where is it? Yes, it even had the price tag on it still. Yeah, it's on both sides. It's right there, too. And this is a beautiful beaded turquoise color. These beads are really, really, really pretty. So we got a three strand or multi strand beauty here. Kind of a smaller neck line on this one, but it does have an extender that's very pretty. So this would be approximately, let's see, with the extender all the way up to the last two, it would be 18. If we did it closer up to the neck, it would be about 14. Well, it'd be between 14 and 16, not 18. I'm sorry, guys. 14 and 16, Graziano, it's a good, good brand. It really looks nice. So we'll put five on the Graziano. The gold tone is in great shape. It is a hook and eye where you would hook it into either any of those that you want. And it would set and just be beautiful. And I like the sound of it. Okay. Next, I think we're about a little under 25 minutes. I'm not going to do too much more. I have to cook. Oh, this is pretty. Wow. I do not see a maker mark on it. It is a, kind of a black gunmetal. Very shiny, but this is really, really nice. These feel like glass beads. And it comes down, and then you have this beauty with some rhinestones, and then it goes down. So you've got like a double bicone here, a rounded bead, that there, and another one here. I just want to make sure all the rhinestones are there. This is really pretty. This is a almost a grayish blue, almost closer to a black. This is longer than... 16 inches and it could go to 18. Let's get this turned over so we can see it real well. This is beautiful. So if you can see that, there we go. That is very pretty. So we'll put four on that one. Okay. Let's see here. Um, hope everybody's doing well today. 
It's Labor Day. I hope you aren't laboring too much. It takes all the fun out of a holiday, doesn't it? Okay, here we go. This one's pretty. This is a Sarah Coventry. I don't believe it. Huh. Sarah Coventry. It's right there. Wow. And it is white and gold tone, or kind of a creamy white and gold tone. This has two extenders right there. This is very interesting. This is pretty. It is right at 18 in 16 inches. I'm sorry. <laughs> I kept saying that. Or it could be shortened to a choker. But look how pretty that is. I like that. And the, the chain is in great shape. See, it's got that second extender there so that you can make this a choker. Very, very pretty. This would be a wonderful little layering piece. So we'll put four on the Sarah. And then this one is just a cute little dot dash. Um, I do believe this is an anklet, guys. Yeah. This is right at nine and three quarters. Not quite a 10. And it is pretty cool. I'll show it to you. I'll put it over my... Isn't that pretty? Very shiny. Very nice. It does have a... Um, Lobster claw clasp. Very pretty. So we'll put two on that one. And I love things in the little baggies. And I'll put them back in there. Then we have. Oh, we got another one, guys. That's kind of unusual. This one is a little longer. This one is closer to 10. So we have one that's nine and a quarter, and this one would be 10 inches, and it'll be $2 also. Exactly the same. Isn't that neat? Okay. $2 on that one. This is that wild chain, and I looked up the name of it, and I can't remember it, but this is a Monet. And I'll show it to you. It's a Monet, and it is very cool. It has that like squared off. Um, if you were to cut it in half, it'd look like a cross. It's, yeah, it's very interesting. Okay, so this is a beautiful gold tone chain that would be wonderful for a pendant. This is exactly 18 inches. I think that we will put um, Let's put $5 on this one. Very nice. Okay. Next. I think after these last two, I'll get off of here and upload this. This does have a mark. If I can see it. It's very tiny. This says JJI. Copyright JJI. I don't know who that is, but it's absolutely darling. It is a hummingbird with a little tiny red stone. Isn't that beautiful? Is there two red stones? No, just the one. And it has a beautiful chain on it. A beautiful chain. And like I said, all these things have been kept in little bags. Spring ring clasp. Just beautiful front and back. JJI is what it says. This one is also 18 inches. Very pretty. So we'll do four on this one. Okay. Put it there. And like I said, I've got all my little bags here. I'll put them all back in. Some over to the side. This one's one of my favorites. It's so cute. It is an owl. And she is a mother of pearl owl. That's the back. And that's the front. I mean, she is cuter than a button. Look at that. 
and the chain is in great shape. And it is spring ring and I don't see anything on it. Spring ring there. She is approximately a little over 18 inches and I'll show her laying down like that. And I'll show her up here. She is darling. Isn't that cool? So let's do four on the owl. Let's set her over here. Let's set her baggie over there. And I don't know. Well, these are kind of bigger necklaces. <laughs> oh, here's one in the bag. Okay, let me pour these out. Okay, we'll do these and then we'll stop for a while. Maybe that was an omen to do some earrings. I don't know. Oh, I still have these confetti earrings. Aren't those neat? So when they go on your ear, they would you could see them from the side like this. I think that I think they're just too cool. I've seen different styles of these. And like I said, I would wear these. I think they're neat. So we'll do three on these, okay? Um, yeah, looks like it fell right in front of me. <laughs> okay, this one's pretty. If I can get it up. Here we go. This one's real pretty. Okay, this is an iconic necklace. It has that little Singapore herringbone. Um, it is spring ring clasp. I don't see anything written on it. I don't believe these are real. No, I don't think. They're in great shape. Look how pretty that is. Very dainty. Very pretty. Isn't that neat? And this is... This is a little under 30 inches. It's very, very nice. This would go over a white blouse or something with some gold tone earrings. Very pretty. So let's put four on that one. That is an older, iconic, beautiful style right there. Okay, this is neat. This is, I do believe, a leather cord. There is actually nothing but a knot there. This is at 18, 19 inches, but this is the piece. This is like Murano glass on steroids. Look at this. This is beautiful. You can see the Murano here and some just um, spectacular. There's more there. Now the back is kind of textured. It's completely soft all the way around. There is no breaking. There is no nothing that will cut you. I'll show you the side view on it. It's cool. Is that a little white? And this black right there. Isn't that neat? So we'll put, I'm going to put eight on this one. Artisan glass piece. Just beautiful. Okay. Then we have just a little glass um, bracelet. But it's pretty cool. It has a snap to piece here. Right like that. This is probably all glass beads, bugle beads. This is so cute. Look at that. Oh, love it. And then it's got that piece there. Um, very sturdy. I don't know if this says something or... Let me check it out. I'm going to open it. Very easy open. I don't see anything on it. I think it's just a metal... I do not believe it is um, sterling or anything, but you know, it doesn't really matter. This is so cute. So this is approximately 
seven and three quarters, almost an eight. So I'll put it here for you. So we'll put four on this one. It's beautiful. Okay. Next. Oh, it's a little lariat. It has a price tag on it of $19.99 or $19.95. I don't know where that came from. But this is just a seed bead lariat that someone made. The little um, balls at the end. So cute. This is approximately at the tie off, probably 26 inches. You could make it shorter, longer. Um, I just think it's pretty. So let's do four on the lariat. Okay. This is an interesting piece. Very interesting piece. This has kind of a gunmetal. Kind of almost, uh, I don't know what you've got, like antique. And look at this. This has got like finials that come down. And you've got the two little rhinestones in the center. You've got a rhinestone on each side here. This thing is fabulous. So it is approximately... It's right at 16 inches. It is a beautiful green. It is um, vintage looking. It could be a replica of another necklace. This has the green enamel on all these pieces. Um, let me turn that one around. The crystals are all there. Let's see. I'm turning it the wrong way, I think. Turn over, buddy. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty, too. Um, oh, there we go. See, it's got like a little rhinestone there. Oh, isn't this cool? So this piece right here, we'll put six on it. And like I said, it's longer. It's 18, 16 inches. Could be a little bit longer. It's probably right at 15 and look how it hangs. So cool. So we will put six on this one. It's a beauty. It's very unusual. I've never seen one like it. Now we have another um, kind of a Murano glass piece that has seed beads. Um, it is actually black on the back, back black glass. And then look at this heart. Isn't that beautiful? Show it to you up close with the gold glitter and the Murano flowers. It's very, very pretty. Then it comes up with the seed beads and glass. And then these right there with the different little pastel colors. It goes all the way up. And you've got a lobster claw up there. And it's a longer piece also. It is 16 plus it could be longer. So we'll put six on this one. Very pretty. Almost done. Okay, this one is very nice. This is very well made. It is. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let me read this. This is. Oh, this is Laura Ashley. Wow. Okay. You have a Laura Ashley. They go for quite a bit. Um, it has a three-tone three or tritone color to the pendant. I mean, it's in great shape. This is like really nice. Look at oh, the finished beads up through here. I'll show you the tag for her. Laura Ashley. Yeah, this is in great shape. This is a um, double strand. You have the snake, which is silver tone, and then you have this dot dash, which is a little more of a bronze. And it comes down to this beautiful pendant here. 
you have the gold tone, the silver, and the bronze here with a little stone on all of these, and they are there. Yeah, this is beautiful. It is approximately 14 inches plus. You've got about a two inch extender, almost two and a half inch extender. I just think it's a beautiful piece. Um, look how well made that is. So let's do uh, five on the Laura Ashley. Next, we have a very vintage piece, and these are plastic beads, but they are so cool. This has what I think is a new, a new uh, clasp put on it. A little toggle there. It could be older, but these beads are so pretty. Their designs. This is lightweight. Black with the round beads here. Acrylic, resin, acrylic type beads. It is approximately almost 18 inches. This is just too cool. Looks very oriental. Um, let's put let's put four on that. Then we oh this is so pretty. Okay, we have a very pretty um, chain. If you see the design, it's kind of like got a twist. It's straight and then there's a twist. Yeah, there you go. And you've got that clasp down here. Very nice silver tone. It is a lobster. This is a pendant. There's the lobster there. And then it has this very unusual pendant with a um, artisan glass piece in the center right there and this is just I don't know it's just so pretty Isn't that neat so this is triangle pendant is approximately an inch and probably three quarters but it's just beautiful it does look like it's sterling but it isn't the glass itself is a beautiful piece so I'm going to put eight on this one. I just think it's very, very nice. Okay. Next we have... Um, I've seen these kind of back in style, which is kind of cool. Um, this is a triple strand. What is the maker on this one? Avenue. Very nice brown. This is a beautiful kind of a satiny gold tone. Um, yeah, it's very pretty. With the rings, let's get a measurement on this. The lowest, the shortest piece is approximately 18 inches. So we have, there we go. It does have an extender, so it could be a little bit longer. But this is like a um, business piece, a beauty. This is lovely. It's in fabulous shape, guys. So we'll do five on the Avenue piece. Just love it. I love the sound of it, too. Okay, this is 1928. I love this piece, guys. This is like a rosary style. Oh, it is beauty. This is just gorgeous. So we have the Rosary Style 1928 up here. I must show you the tag. Um, right there. Beautiful gold tone. Then you've got the little filigree ball there. Then you've got these two gorgeous crosses. Right here. Isn't that neat? So it's kind of like a Y necklace. Um, it is right at 24 inches. At the actual um, Y itself, it is right at 18. So this is a beauty. 
So for this 1928, we'll put six on it since it is like in fabulous shape. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna stop at that. I have more to show, but we'll wait. Um, if I get real busy this week, um, I might skip a day or two, so don't think I'm gone. But um, working full time and doing this, I have to kind of pace myself. So we're at 45 minutes. I'm going to get off of here. And it's time for me to cook. And we're going to have hamburgers and hot dogs on the grill with baked beans and corn on the cob. And I'm going to get started before it starts to rain. But anyway, you guys have a wonderful afternoon. I hope you enjoy watching my videos. I hope you love the jewelry. Whether you purchase anything or not, it's not a problem whatsoever. If you want to purchase from me for the first time and you haven't registered, just email me at moniquesjewels2 at gmail.com. Um, leave me your PayPal email address, your shipping address, and your full name, your real name, not just your YouTube name. And um, you're registered. Please subscribe if you haven't. Um, then email me what you want, and I will get back with you that same day and get you started. And once you're paid, I usually ship out the next day. So thank you so much for watching. You guys stay well and stay blessed, and we'll talk to you soon.